welcome back to the CGU Learning Center. I know it's been a while, things have been kind of sporadic, um, I'm not going to bore you with details or excuses, but I do want to share this really cool adventure we had with Accessibility Mike last week. So the Children's Museum and Theater here in Portland for the last couple years or so has been building a brand new building just for them that they were going to move into. Well, it's done enough, it's almost completed, still some minor tweaks to do, uh, but they started having open houses. Now, we tagged along with Accessibility Mike because here's the really cool thing. Accessibility Mike got to consult on the blueprints to help make the museum as accessible as possible so children of all abilities and disabilities can enjoy the museum. How cool is that? So we're kind of tagging along and piggybacking with him. So this is more his video, but we're, we're sharing it with you as well to make sure you guys see it. So check out the new Children's Museum. I'll see you afterward. Hi, this is Accessibility Mike, and um, uh, me and Amanda are here at the Children's Museum, the new one here in Portland. They just um, started opening it up for open houses, and we went through it, and it is absolutely amazing. They have done so much to make this accessible. Um, back when it was in the planning stages, um, me and Chris who was helping plan it, went through and made as many adaptions as we could to make it as inclusive as it most possibly can be. And they did an amazing job. Just every little bit, little tiny thing that they could do to make it accessible or to make it welcoming is, is there. Uh, so I encourage you, highly encourage you, when it's open, come check it out. Take a look, bring your kids. It's awesome. They did an amazing job. It really, um, it really hits me here to know that a group of people who are here for the education and upbringing of our children take it so seriously. So we tried to group a lot of plays together, you know, like Cinderella. There's three versions of Cinderella, no, four. Four versions of Cinderella. This one dates back to the 40s. And then this one we did maybe five years ago. And the Emperor's New Clothes. Nokia is up there. <laughs> Culture, and we know that culture is part of our community and um, we 
often can be look at equity and diversity and culture within our programs and within our exhibits and we think about um, we were thinking about how to do that for this space and we realized that we often look to children's books um, to explore our world so that's where um, we started thinking about what book to choose uh, to bring alive in the space and we drew inspiration from uh, the children's book festival put on by uh, indigo arts annually um, and also i'm your neighbor books and last year the ashley Brian Children's Book Festival featured the beautiful Blackbird. So that was a moment of inspiration and we started uh, thinking about how we could bring that book alive here. And we started um, working with Indigo Arts Alliance and also, also the Ashley Bryan Center. Uh, and together we've created uh, this incredible exhibit space where when visitors walk in, they can uh, see Ashley Bryan reading the beautiful blackbird and then they go inside to a gesture animation area where visitors become a bird avatar and they through dancing act out the narrative of the story which is um, all of these birds admiring the beautiful blackbird because his wings are so iridescent and black is so beautiful well they all want a little bit of black and blackbird tells them hold up no matter what i do no matter what you do i will always be me and you will always be you so it's definitely celebrating difference and above all it's really celebrating that black is beautiful uh, so in the end blackbird is generous he gives all the birds a little bit of black but all a little bit different all unique to their own um, and they have a wild party. So the, the animation ends with a, a wild party um, for the birds. And uh, the, the music is done by a local artist. So there's music over the animation. And that's done by Samuel James, um, who's a local musician. Um, and then when visitors come out of this space, uh, there's a story kiosk over here. So that's a space where uh, they're going to be able to listen to four featured artists. Um, these are artists that are right through here. These are artists that are featured in our artist gallery um, and are artists that are inspired by Ashley Bryan and in many ways walk in his footsteps. And then visitors will be able to share their own stories for the story kiosk as well and they can send them to family and friends. It becomes a bit of a, um, a keepsake as well. Uh, so in this space, we have our um, stories. All of those stories have a piece of art that will be featured over here on the artist gallery. So this wall is now blank. Um, this gallery wall will very soon have 16 prints of children's book illustrations that is curated by Marcia Minter who's um, co-director or director of the Indigo Arts, founder and director of Indigo Arts Alliance. Um, so, and then of course you've got the makerspace, which we're gonna have, it, it is our makerspace and it's going to stay here um, with all of our exhibits, but right now some of our activities are going to have, ins draw inspiration from the author, Ashley Bryan, who um, loves using found objects and everyday objects to create something new he finds and learns from the familiar um, and he really his art style is very much to create extraordinary from the ordinary so we're gonna hope that kids are excited to do that too which you know they are <laughs>
This is Accessibility Mike at the Portland Children's Museum. And it is amazing. Come check it out. Have a great day. So as you can see, there is a lot of cool stuff going on with the brand new Children's Museum and Theatre here in Portland, Maine. Uh, they officially open on June 24th. And for that, you're going to want to visit their website uh, for ticketing and COVID protocols and all of that good stuff, parking. Um, but they do open, like I said, on June 24th. Uh, visit their website and definitely go check it out. As you saw, uh, Accessibility Mike and I had an absolute blast and it was a lot of fun and there's so much cool stuff to play with. So totally encourage you guys to go visit it if you get the chance. Thanks for joining the CG Learning Center and Accessibility Mike. Um, we'll see you next time. Yay!